Hey gang, Problem Punch here, I should probably angle this way. Django here. Uh, coming at you with just a mini update on uh, the Dura Heat 2304. Dura Heat 2304. I hate saying O instead of zero. 2304. Um, using diesel fuel in lieu of the $12 a gallon kerosene. Alright, ultra low sold for diesel. Uh, diesel number one, of course, is the better option if it is available to you. I am using diesel number two because it's all we have here. It is the ultra low sulfur diesel, and with the addition of uh, a half ounce to an ounce of acetone, like we talked in the last video. So I have now ran this on the diesel fuel acetone mix for around nine hours total alright that includes um, time in my my uh, heat treat rig uh, experiment time and and today and I'm using it in the house alright the house heater does not work and so the little electric heaters that, that we generally use have just been running and running and running so I figured I would give the electricity a break and bring this in since my wife isn't home alright so here it is you can see it in there just a nice stable flame uh, lit right up no problem um, I'm not getting any gumming on the wick and here let's cruise over Am I still recording? Yeah, I thought I heard it make a sound. Let's cruise over here to my carbon monoxide sensor. First alert. And we're going to check peak level. Okay. So this, it checks its memory. And I am showing, is that going to show up on there? A big, fat goose egg. You see that? So carbon monoxide sensor still showing zero parts per million and I've been running this in here for quite a while well quite a while uh, one hour total today and the entire house is just as warm as a piece of toast fresh from the toaster so there it is I'm doing this my wife's gone and just like I said, I'm keeping a keep an eye on everything. I got the carbon monoxide sensor over there, so making sure everything is copacetic. But it's giving off zero smell now. I will say this here. I'll sit here all comfortable and everything, and, and we'll have a fireside chat. I will say this: light it outside. Because that's when you get the smell is when you light it and when you extinguish it, okay? That's when you get the uh, get the smell. I'm trying to think. I don't think that I saw any smoke, not even a wisp, when I first lit it. All right? Um, you know, the same, you, when you use kerosene, when you first light the kerosene heater, you get that smell. When you extinguish it, you get that smell. And that smell, you know, bugs some people. So... I lit it outside, got it going, and then carried it in. So that would be my recommendation, just to keep that smell out of your house. Uh, I'm trying to think. That's it, y'all. It's just, uh, I'm really impressed. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with the diesel acetone hack. And like that, I mean, I was I was considering uh, returning that DuraHeat. I got it from Home Depot on, on, a, on sale. And, you know, it was still within 30 days when I, I go to get some kerosene, you know, a couple weeks after I got the heater. <coughs> and, uh, $12 a gallon, you can't get it at the filling station. What a trip. Now, when did that happen? Uh, like diesel fuel and kerosene, just so you know, take the least amount of processing of, of all the, the petroleum-based fuels. So, why do they cost so much? You know, 
They're saying that crooked BS, man. But what are you going to do? You got to play with the cards you dealt. So I uh, came up with my own own little, uh, what you call it there, inside straight or something. I don't know. Came up with my own winning hand. But so far, so good. Just wanted to give an update. And I'll keep you updated if I have any issues. Um, I, I'll keep you up to date on how the wick is doing, but it's still it's not showing uh, it's not showing burn beyond that that little bit of charring around the top circle uh, of the wick. And you saw a nice stable flame. Yeah, I don't know what else to uh, talk about. And the heat output is just outrageous, man. It's like, yeah, I'm wearing this because I just came in from outside and I'm, I'm, I'm starting to sweat. So, that's it. I guess that was actually a pretty boring video. I don't know what else I could add to it. Um, I don't know. It is better to be shot at and missed than shit at and hit. Some advice, like to make it less boring. Well, great. Now I've got to go and put a little warning in the description that I cussed and everything. I just thought you guys might like to hang out. The dogs are snoring and happy. And got the little little fireplace going there. Fireplace. Huh. Oh, you can't really see the... You can't really see the flame individually, can you? It's kind of like that. You can't see the, the stability of the flame. It just flares up on you. Well, that's cool. I guess I will let you go then. Alright. Live free. Punch hard and be good to yourselves, because you're worth it and I dig you. And I will catch you all later, okay? Bye now, and you have a good day.